Previously on Wildebeest on Tour. We're heading towards the uh, Byzantine Church and uh, we'll report when we get back there later. It's just me and Danny at the moment. Lovely example of business and architect. I'm very pleased. It's good. So now we've made it to the, uh, the actual church that we're looking for. Mosaics. And how well preserved they are because look how old. Hello, my name's George and you're watching Wildebeest on Tour Expansion Pack. Uh, it's day two and we are going up to uh, Rodno, which is where there's a very large cross. We're going to effectively hike and walk up. It should take about an hour and a half from the city centre up a very steep climb up to the, um, up to the monastery and the cross up there. Um, there's a really nice building behind me here. Don't know what it is, but wow. Well, it kind of looks grand, but it's also in a part of the city where it's not as... Uh, not as attractive and not as beautiful, so I don't know what's going on here. So Matt, you see the sign, where are we? We're at the State Audit Office of the uh, Republic of Northern Macedonia. So they're technically like-minded people to me. They have a much grander building than we do. <laughs> So we're continuing our hike up, and here is a map of the uh, the walk. We're going to go up from signboard up to Middle Rodno. So let's get going. People are going that way. Yeah. So the map makes it look so you're straight, so I think it is this way. Massive conflicts going on. No agreement on which way to go. I think we go back down that way. <laughs> You're all wrong. Oh, thank you. I think I might be. <laughs> the climb upwards is quite steep now. Again, quite out of breath, but persevering to get towards the cable car and up towards the cross. We just had some lunch and are now uh, at the cable car, which we're going to take up. So here, the cable cars, and the lunch inside. So here we go, up the cable car. Uh, yeah. So we're like north middle of Scotland. Yeah, yeah. It's quite near the north. What spectacular views were greeted to at the top of um, Wonder. Wonderful to see the great view of uh, Shkopi down there. See the snowy mountains far away. Yeah, you agree? <laughs> so here is the Millennium Cross. Absolutely massive at one of the highest points of the city. According to the sign, it's located at the highest point of the vault of Rodno Mountain. The Millennium Cross is a symbol of 2,000 years' existence of the Christianity in Macedonia. So we make our way around the cross, absolutely massive, at least not looking into the sun this way, but you can see the other sides of Mount Rodno. Of these wonderful snowy mountains in the background, it's absolutely beautiful. How do we all uh, feel about the views here? It's a professionally superlative adjective for, yes. um, for, for our camera. <laughs> On this side, it's lovely and forested. We've got the mountains in the background. The rest of the wildebeest are wandering on down there. It's 
quite warm now as well up here. In the sunshine. So we're going to head back down, now down, cable car, and then do a bit more exploring at the lower levels. Let's get in. We're continuing our walk up towards the monastery. We've been yeah. walking for about half an hour. And yeah, it's very flat. It's much better than the walk up before. We've successfully made it to the monastery. The monastery here, and let's have a look inside. Look at all these frescoes and icons and images. Good. Danny, what do you think of this church compared to uh, the ones we saw in Istanbul? Wow, it's, um, <laughs> it's been a long time since we saw the ones in Istanbul, so, um, but it's very similar in style, it's very beautiful, it reminds me of the ones we saw in Istanbul, so it's a nice flashback, to, um, I mean, perhaps we can see some flashbacks perhaps of the previous experiences. Thank you. <laughs> It's a very beautiful church, very, very old, built in 1164, actually, undergone some uh, restorations and alterations. Um, also in a great setting, doing some uh, bench uh, moving, but with a view down to Shkopi. And also you can see the village mosque over there. So the plan now is to wait here and we're going to get a bus down to Shkopi. Waiting for the bus. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says Saturday and Sunday. He was Sunday. saying 15, 30, Sunday. Well, he knows more than the sign. He did, he did know because it was 15, 30 that we saw that last bus. So I believe him. So unfortunately, uh, on a Sunday, uh, this timetable isn't correct <laughs> and uh, we've missed the last bus. So we're going to have to trek down into the city. Okay. <laughs> but we've done all our stretches. <laughs> we'll have to do them again at the bottom, Ellie. Yeah. And that's the bottom. So even though this wasn't intended, it's been quite a pleasant evening stroll. Now down the mountain with an abandoned. Is it a VW? Or is it just a. Yeah, that's a shame. The light is fading slowly. It'll be dark in about an hour. But yeah, walking down almost back into the main part of the city. Made it down uh, into the city, but we're still uh, quite a long way from the centre. Found this easily identifiable bus stop with the uh, clear sign there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we wait here and get the bus into the centre. These red buses, hopefully it's number bus number five. The bus is driving off into the distance. We weren't able to pay because you need some sort of phone app or contactless card, a bit like a, an Oyster card in London. Um, we're a bit uncomfortable having not paid for the bus, so after about four stops we've got off the bus. So a little bit closer towards the uh, centre. Um, but probably walk the rest of the journey. It's quite an adventure. Where, where'd you... <laughs> hey! Where, where'd you even top up your thing? 
George, he, he could have, you should have tried putting your camera on the. Uh, <laughs> that's what that would have done. Yeah. No, but he wasn't the guard, I don't think, man. No, he was I just a, thought he was. Uh, he, was uh, a, he had a security jacket on because his job is security, but nothing to do with the bus. <laughs> Walking back to the hostel now, it's the end of day two. Um, the food was really, really nice in the restaurant, uh, even if it did come at random times. So now, um, yeah, back to the hostel, get a um, fairly early night, and then we'll be off fairly early tomorrow um, on a day trip. Matt, what, what's the name of the place we're going to tomorrow? Uh, Matka. Matka. So we'll go to Matka, and then we'll get the bus to Orange. So see you tomorrow.